Hello and welcome to this video on dividing numbers. Now sometimes we can do it mentally. Let's just say for example we had 86 divided by 2. Well we've got 8 tens and if we divide by that by 2 we'd have 4 tens. And if we have 6 units and we divide that by 2 we'd have 3 units. So we can instantly see that just 86 divided by 2 is going to be 43. But we could use something called uh, the bus stop method, also known as short division, to do this. So what we do is we put the first number here, the 86 on the right, and we're dividing that by 2. So we put the thing we're dividing by on the left, and then we say, how many times does 2 go into 8? Well, it goes in 4 whole times, we put a 4 there. And how many times does 2 go into 6? Well, it goes in 3 whole times, 2 times 3 is 6, so we do 3 there. And we can see we get 43 as the answer. And we can use this method for some of uh, these hard examples. So, if we're doing 243 divided by 9, we do the same thing as before. We put 243 here, and the number we're dividing by on the left. And then what we do is we say, how many times does 9 go into 2? Well, it doesn't go in any times. If you did 9 times 1, for example, that already gets you up to 9, which is already too big. You could think of it as saying, like, having two sweets. If I want to share two sweets between nine people, how many sweets does everyone get? Well, no one gets any sweets, so it'd be going zero times, but we still have the two sweets left in our hands, so we have a remainder of two. And what we do is we put that remainder on the next number, top left of it. So now what we do is we say, how many times does nine go into 24? Now, if you think about the multiples of nine, well, nine times one is nine, nine times two is 18, 9 times 3 is 27. So if we're asking how many times does 9 go into 24, 2 lots of 9 is 18, so it goes in twice, but it doesn't go in 3 times because we've overshot. 3 times 9 is 27. So if we're dividing 24 sweets, say, between 9 people, we can make sure that each person gets 2 sweets, so we'd have 18 sweets, so it goes in 2 whole times, but how many sweets would we have left over? Well, 2 times 9 is 18, so you can see we'd have 6 sweets left over. If we've got 24 sweets and giving everyone 2 sweets gets us to 18 sweets, we'll have 6 sweets left over. So we put the remainder of 6 here. And then how many times does 9 go into 63? Well, it goes in 7 whole times. So we get an answer of 27. Next question. We've got 3,234 divided by 7, so let's do our bus stop. 3, 2, 3, 4 divided by 7. Let's do the same. How many times does 7 go into 3? Well, 0 times. So what we can instantly do, if we got 0 times at the start, we can just now say how many times does 7 go into 32? Well, 7 times 4 is 28. That's the most number of 7s we can have until we get to 32. So it goes in 4 whole times. That gets us up to 28, and we have 4 left over to get up to 32. So remainder 4, we put it there. Now how many times does 7 go into 43? Well, the closest multiple of 7 to, that's lower than 43 is 42. That's 6 times, so we can go in 6 whole times, and 6 times 7 is 42, so we have 1 left over. So we put the remainder of 1 here, and how many times does 7 go into 14? Well, it's twice, so therefore the answer is 462. What about the next one? We've got 100001 zero, 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 one divided by 11. Now, how many times does 11 go into 1? It doesn't. So we next try how many times does 11 go into 10? Well, it still doesn't. If we have 10 sweets and we try to divide it between 11 people, we're not going to even ensure that each person gets one sweet. So we next try how many 11s into 100? Well, the closest multiple of 11 below 100 is 9 times 11, that's 99, isn't it? So we can have 9, 9 times 11 is 99, and we'll have 1 left over, remainder of 1. So we put the 1 here. Now how many times 11 go into 10? Well, it goes in 0 times. So we put a 0 here, we have to make sure we put the zeros now. We could get away with not putting the zeros before at the start, but now we do have to put the zeros. And what's the remainder? If I have 10 sweets, I try to divide it between 11 people, each person gets zero sweets, but I still have the 10 sweets in my hand. So in fact, we have a remainder of 10, and I have to put the 10 on here. So now we have 11 into 100. It goes in nine times. So nine times 11 is 99, and we have one sweet left over. 
So we put the one here, and 11 into 11, it goes in exactly once. So the answer is 9,091. What about the next one? We've got five, zero, four, six, three, divided by five. Now I know that this is not gonna divide exactly by five, so we'd actually have a remainder at the end. So fives into five, it goes in exactly once. Now fives into zero, it goes in zero times. If you have zero sweets and you try to divide between five people, well, each person gets zero sweets and there's no remainder. Now, how many times does five go into four? It goes in zero times, but we still have the four sweets left. How many times does five go into 46? Well, the closest multiple of five, lower than 46, is nine times five. Nine times five is 45, so it goes in nine whole times with a remainder of one. How many times does five go into 13? Well, it goes in twice, that gets us up to 10. Five times two is 10, and we have a remainder of three. Now, we've got nowhere to put the three, so what we can do is we can say there's a remainder of three, that's what's left over. So five goes into this number that whole number of times. So if we had this number of sweets and we tried to share it between five people, each person would get that number of sweets, but we'd have three sweets left over. We call that the remainder. We could go into decimals so that we don't have to write the remainder, but we'll cover that in another video. And finally, we want to do 60,216 divided by 13. Now, you might not know your 13 times table, so what I find helpful is to write out multiples of 13 to make it easy to do this division. So if I do it up here, 1 times 13 is equal to 13. Uh, when you times it by 2, well, 2 lots of 13 is 26. Times 3, well, we can add another 13. 26 plus 13 is 39. Times 4, add another 13, we get 52. We times by five, add another 13, we get to 65. Six times 13 is 78, times seven is 91. And that might be far enough, let's see. So 13 into six, we can't do it. So we then try 13 into 60. Well, let's look at our table here. What's the greatest multiple of 13 that's less than 60? Well, we can see that 52 is the biggest number there that's less than 60. So it goes in four whole times. That gets, gets us up to 52. What's left over? Well, we've got a remainder of eight. So we put the eight here. Now, 13 into 82. We need the biggest multiple of 13 that's less than 82. Well, it's this one here, times six. So it goes in six whole times. Six times 13 is 78. And you can see that we have four left over. So we put the remainder of four there. 13 is into 41. Uh, 39 is the biggest multiple of 13 less than 41, so it goes in three whole times. And we have a remainder of two. And then finally, 13 is into 26, it goes in exactly twice. And we've got our answers, 4,632.